Hi there, this video is about human interactions in the lithosphere and today's goal is to identify and explain human impacts on the uh, lithosphere. So by the end lesson I want you to be able to explain how humans um, impact the lithosphere and then explain why it's so important to humans. Um, so we already know that the lithosphere is vital for life. Um, we've got the formation of soil, we've got um, the top surface of the earth that comes in contact with the hydrosphere, with the atmosphere and leads to the biosphere, so it's a really important section of the earth. Um, as our human population has increased, we've put a huge, huge, huge strain on this hosphere, particularly when it comes to farming and mining and getting natural resources. And we've had a profound effect on the physical world and we still aren't sure the effects that we've had as humans. Um, the worst um, case scenario is land degradation. I've got a picture of you to show later, later on what, what it is, but basically it's the way we are farming the land um, because it's now very much commercial farming where we have to make lots and lots of food out of a small um, area of land um, using as many shortcuts as possible and as a result we've had what's called land degradation where the land can't be used anymore the soil that was once there is not rich in any nutrients it's dried up it's very very tricky to use as um, suitable farmland so as a result, we have what's called land degradation. That's going to be one of the biggest impacts on the lithosphere, and one of the biggest things we're going to have to really work hard um, with human population increasing um, to about 10 billion in the next um, 50 to 100 years. So it's really, really you know, important issue. Um, what's needed to reduce these impacts? Well, more and better management strategies. Um, to encourage a healthy lithosphere, so reducing the number of people for the start. I know it sounds uh, easier said than done, but we do really need to make sure that we're using food from a sustainable source. Uh, we, we're using sustainable farming techniques, so that means um, not mass produced food, but growing food grown locally, um, using uh, recycled rainwater, using drip feed. Um, watering practices um, and also trying to reduce the amount of um, chemical pesticides that in, in, in the soil so um, that's the ways we, we're going to really have to look at and um, the second part of the lesson once you've listened to this is going to be looking at these examples and trying to work out which ones are the best and um, which ones are going to have the biggest impact on humans so, as I said, um, some of the biggest impacts on the lithosphere, uh, one of them has got to be mining. Uh, this picture just clearly shows how it can affect the lithosphere. You know, this is what's called an open cast mine. And I'll just get my highlight out here. Um, it's open cast because, as you can see, it's open to the surface. And what happens? The trucks go down um, to the bottom. Where there's a, um, an entrance to the mine, um, the mine shafts um, horizontal, and that's where they get, in this case, coal. It gets taken up by these huge trucks, and um, that's called an open cast. Um, we do have cast mining, which is where you just dig down, and normally you'll see the uh, big lift elevators that take people up and down. Um, you can see the layers of rock, and that's what's actually mined. Um, in this case coal and they're called seams the lines of coal and what they do they keep mining them until the, the seam runs out um, these mines um, you can see there's a lot of um, you know sort of dust in the atmosphere noise pollution but it's more than that it's um, we, we're not entirely sure what impact those um, lines of uh, rock have in terms of like the hydrosphere, the biosphere, and once that's removed, it has knock on effects with environments elsewhere. Um, the rocks act as a you know, um, 
um, it, they take out all the um, badness out of water. It's a filtration system. Once we once we get rid of that, then it does lead to major um, changes in the water table, um, which we can't um, repair. Um, what mining companies will do once the mine has run out it's not profitable anymore they will fill this back in um, and build on the top and many places um, in Australia as well as around the world that are built on top of old mines so it's not to say that they um, they leave the mine like this um, but we're unsure about the impacts it does have in the biggest area um, the new a uh, bit of mining, um, fracking, this is the one that's really going to have lots of impacts on the lithosphere. Basically fracking is when we um, get gas from underneath our feet, um, we drill holes down to extract the gas, to get the gas up, pump huge amounts of chemicals there. Again, not sure entirely how that's going to affect humans and the atmosphere as well. Um, this is what we mean by land uh, degradation. Um, you can see that the uh, land is extremely dry here. Why is that? Well, it's exposed to the sun, a uh, little vegetation cover. Sun's beating down on this area all day, so it's killing, drying out the soil. If the soil's not fertile, it's pretty hard to grow crops. What doesn't help are these cows, the horses, they're not native to Australia, so they do damage the grass hundreds if not thousands of cows in one area um, causes soil erosion you can see that in the air the soil is um, drying out it's kicked up and because it's now turning into sand the wind blows it away that soil erosion uh, land degradation is making sure that the uh, soils become useless if the soils become useless we can't use them and the soil turns to sand um, one of the biggest problems in Australia because we have so many, such a big large area of deserts um, that require lots of management and we've introduced species of animals that aren't native to the area so that's why land degradation is really really important. Um, Australian farming, um, massive um, amounts of money to the economy and, and if we lose that um, it's going to be a huge impact. Okay, um, so that's the end of the video on um, human impacts on the first year. Um, take note, we're going to watch some examples of how we can um, manage the lithosphere. Um, but I hope that gives you an understanding of how humans are impacting the lithosphere. Okay, thanks.